All right, so we got three matrices, as you can see. And in order to add and subtract the matrices, you got to make sure that they all have the same dimensions. And if you look at the first matrix, this is clearly a two by two, right? It has two rows and two columns. So this is a two by two. And you also see that this also has two rows and two columns. So this is a two by two. And this also has two rows and two columns. So this is a two by two. And since they are all two by two matrices, you can add and subtract, okay? So how do we subtract these matrices? Well, remember, that you want to subtract the corresponding entries. So, looking at the first entry, all right, here we got a one, we got a negative one, a seven, those are corresponding entries. So here it's actually one minus negative one, right, one minus negative one minus seven. And then for the second entry, we see that, oh, okay, second entry is right here. We got 1, 2, and negative 3. So 1, 2, and negative 3 are the corresponding entries. So here we're going to go 1 minus 2, 1 minus 2, 1 minus 2, minus negative 3. So minus negative 3. Okay? Now we're going to look for the last two entries right here. So we see the corresponding entries 1, 2, and 2, right? So it's going to be 1 minus 2 minus 2. And lastly, the last entry we have here, 1, 1, 5, right? So the corresponding entries uh, are 1, 1, 5. And so we have 1 minus 1 minus 5. Okay, so now we go ahead and calculate what this is. So 1 minus negative 1, that's 1 plus 1, which is 2. And so we got 2 minus 7, which is negative 5. Here we have 1 minus 2 minus negative 3, right? 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 minus minus 3, that's negative 1 plus 3. That's going to give us a 2. So this is a 2. Here we got 1 minus 2 minus 2, right? 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 2, that's negative 3. So this is negative 3. And lastly, we have 1 minus 1 minus 5. So uh, 1 minus 1 is 0, minus 5 is negative 5. So here we got negative 5. And that's pretty much it. We're done. And uh, that's the matrix that we get when we subtract these three matrices together. So here, this is our final answer. And now we can go on and move to the next question.